Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be saying goodbye to my city tutorial world. This has been a work in progress for over two years now. The oldest build in this world is my subway. The video for that was posted on the 21st of January 2019, so we are well over two years in the making. It hasn't been two solid years of city builds, there have been big breaks in between, but I just think that it's pretty interesting that all of my city related building has been pretty much confined to this area right here. I am going to put this world up for download, so I think that the best way to do it is to reward my loyal channel members. So if you are already a member, you will be able to find the link for this in the members section on the channel, in the members posts. And if you do become a member, then you should be able to have access to that as well. So. However, don't feel pressured to become a member just for that perk. I just thought that it'd be a really cool thing for my current members. I'm going to give you a quick tour on every single build and I'm going to try and be as efficient as possible so that this video doesn't last 12 hours. But if you do want to see any of these closer, number one, you can check out any of these and if you want to build them, you can find them in the card system, the description below, in the top of the comment section. Look for the City Builds playlist. You will be able to find it in all of those places. So not only will you get a better look, but you can build it as well if you like. But your second best option, for those of you that have this possibility, if you download the world, then you will be able to view it your Self. You'll be able to take as much time as you want and tour the entire world as much as you like. But without any further ado, let's get started. Funnily enough, the first build that I'm going to show you is the last build that will ever be made in this world. And I can't really think of a better one. This is my modern Tesco's. For those of you that are British, or maybe even Tesco transcends Britain, this is Maybe not the biggest supermarket, but it's got to be the most recognizable. I don't know where it competes with all of the others at the moment. You know, Asda and Morrison's and Sainsbury's and etc, etc. The list goes on. But the inside of this is pretty cool. I don't think that I have made a better supermarket. I really, really like it. I like building fast food restaurants, supermarkets, stuff that's recognizable. And um, it was nice to build one that is, you know, at the very least, at, it, it's a good one to go out on. So, um, it was pretty fun. Um, I like all of the different parts of it. I like the cafe, the self-serve, the different counters, the bakery, the tills. Uh, I like the cash machines and the trolley return and the giant car park. And I love the fact that we've also got a petrol station, another kind of build that I'm fascinated by. I don't know why, but we have the petrol station and the pumps. And we also have uh, the actual shop as well, like a nice cozy little shop. I don't know what, maybe I'm just weird. I like super markets and like little convenience stores and we even got like a little Amazon collection uh, box next to this and we even have a car wash as well. How could we forget the car wash? And we also have the little self-serve as well next to the car wash. So collectively this might be the longest tutorial on my channel, perhaps only rivaled by my hospital. If you make all parts of this, it's going to take you three plus hours. So it might be the longest, it might not. But it was a good place to end. And by the way guys, we are reading this book backwards. We're starting from the end and we are going all the way to the beginning so that I get a nice little hit of nostalgia as we progress through. So we'll see more recognizable things on the channel to start off with, but then it'll start getting uh, a little hazy really quickly. So this is my modern Pizza Hut. I'm very, very happy with this. I like Pizza Hut as a plus, but um, I just like the interior. It's one of my more favorite interiors for, I, I would say, like my modern fast food restaurants. Like I just I just like the seating area, the salad bar, I like the ice cream machine, and I just like, I like the design of like the employee area connected together in kind of like a nice modern way to the bathroom, so I just, I really like the interior. It's one of those cases, I usually like the outside design of a build 
better than the inside, but I actually like the inside better than the out in this particular case. Next up, we would have what I would call a sort of realistic modern mansion. I haven't made any mansions this year on the channel except for this one. And the reason that I made it was, number one, I was in the mood to make some houses because I've been building nothing but city-related builds for who knows how long. But I, I just kind of wanted to make this for my city as well. Like, I could see this on top of a hill on, like, the outskirts of a city looking down at everybody in the dark. I don't know why. That's where my imagination went to. Hmm. I should probably see someone. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I would probably also put a gate on this if I was to put it in a city. But I do think that it would actually fit in nicely into kind of like, you know, a, air quotes, rich part of a city. So, here is my boxing gym. This is one of those occasions where, and it's all, I, I should say, modern boxing gym. It's one of those occasions where I actually like the inside better than the outside as well. Like, we have a ring, we have a weight section, we have, like, a little cardio section, and uh, we have, like, a little kettlebell and skipping rope, and we've got barbells, and we've got um, uh, sleds slash prowlers, they're sometimes called, and um, we have punching bags. Like, I just really like the, uh, the layout of the inside, and it just, like, feels nice and colourful and bright. Um, now, this I don't think has been released on the channel yet, which is weird. I, I, I don't know why it hasn't. I should probably get on that. But this is a modern Arby's. I want to say modern. It might also be a classic design. Sometimes it's hard to remember with all of these different uh, different tutorials that I make, especially from like um, chains that aren't from my own country. It's hard to remember. So um, I really like the inside, though. And I like the outside as well. It's, it's just like a nice, clean, um, sort of like modern, classic sort of look. I just really like it. Uh, I don't know whether it's a huge chain in the US, but I'm 100% certain it's like a US-based fast food chain. Watch me be wrong now that I've said 100%, but um, you guys will see it on the channel soon, I'm sure. Um, Zaxby's. This is 100% a... Uh, an American fast food chain and I will show you the like the entire outsides where it's where they're interesting but uh, well actually this, this one isn't uh, too uninteresting like I sort of like the outside of this like I like um, that it's a little bit green around the outside and the drive through is kind of like interesting that's kind of like a 90 degree angle as well but you could also drive through too so um the inside, keeping it nice and simple. We're not so modern in here. Um, it's not like a modern Zaxby's. It's kind of like got the classic look to it. Hence why it kind of looks like a barn. But I really, I really like the look of it though. Uh, we don't have this here in the UK. So I have no gauge on the popularity nor the quality of Zaxby's. But we do have one coming up which um, transcends the UK. Which I'll mention when we see it. So this is a motorbike dealership. Very much a fan of this. I like how this looks. Like, when I imagine, like, some sort of dealership in my mind, I imagine a big glass front, and I imagine being able to see stuff on the inside that's alluring and enticing. I like the clean, modern design. I like the motorbike, um... I'm not going to call it a logo, but the motorbike above the door. And I just, I like that it's two-story. We've got um, a couple of aisles and we've got just got some shelves and stuff like. It's it's exactly, it, like, it, it's just a nice, clean design. I really, really like it. If you're looking for a motorbike dealership, look no further. This is a suburban house. Now, I'm not going to show you the inside of this because every single room is done and it will just tack on a bunch more time to the tutorial, but... Tutorial? This isn't a tutorial. <laughs> I guess it is. How to make a tutorial world tutorial. <laughs> First, start off with a big road <laughs> and then go from there. So this is just like a suburban house, kind of like built in a way with the garden and what have you in the garage and everything that it sort of offers. It's built in a way that it's repeatable, so you could make a giant suburbs out of it. So, um, it's kind of like a modern-ish sort of design, like a modern suburban house, I would call this. It's not modern, but it kind of is in the use of the materials and the use of the design a little bit, as opposed to kind of just like a regular terracotta or brick uh, building. This is just like a good old burger shop. Like, if you're walking down the street, there's no McDonald's, there's no Burger King, there's no whatever. You might just see one of these, walk in. It perhaps looks a little bit dirty on the inside, and yet the food is fantastic. So, you know, you take the good with the bad. That's that's how I would describe this place. It's just a nice little burger shop. Um, they probably also do chips, but it's not guaranteed. And um, I think it's very, very recognizable by the fact that we've got a giant burger on top. So... 
Um, oh, moving on down, this is a courthouse. So, kind of going with an older school sort of build, but trying to keep it looking a little bit more modern so that it doesn't completely stick out. Um, we have a big giant courtroom. Um, this also features a deliberation area, I'll call it, for the jurors, the jury area. Um, we have uh, a jail section as well for, I suppose, the accused and possibly other people. And we also have a judge's chamber as well. So very, very happy with all of this. I really like how it's designed. It feels nice in here. Um, it feels exactly how it should, or at least I imagine it should. I've never been to court. So... <laughs> Not yet, anyway. So, um, we are going over to the play zone now. So, this is a soft play center. Oh, I, I really love this. This kind of takes me back to my childhood when I'd go, uh, go places like this when I was a kid. Like, just a big, giant playroom just of fun. Like, it's, it's just, like, nice little obstacle courses, loads of little, like, hidey holes and tunnels and tubes and, like, hidden things and slides. That's water slide, but it's meant to be an actual slide. And, like, a little ball pit and, like, just, like, sand pit. And if you guys, I don't know if these are worldwide, but, like, the little red and yellow cars that, um, like, you sometimes have, you see kids in that are being pushed by the parents and, and there's also pedals and stuff. Like, I don't know, it just really, I just really, really like it. I think it fits in really nicely. And it's sort of very, very modern in design, like, I like everything about that villain. This is uh, kind of like my little take on a an on like a seaside ice cream stand, like just one of those. It's an ice cream stand. I mean, they also do slushies. You can see that at the back from the banner, but um, it's one of those kind of like all rounders. They also sell teddies. I don't know why, but um, ice cream, slushies, seaside. What more could you possibly want? Now here is Jolly Bee. So Jollibee, I have been told, and I want to say that I'm correct, from my numerous subscribers from the Philippines. I don't know why I have so many subscribers from the Philippines. It is an absolute mystery. By the way, I'm not complaining. I love all of you guys. Every time I've streamed and I get comments from people from the Philippines, you guys are always, like, really nice and great. And I... I... I I don't know why, though. Like, it seems like a bit of a random... <laughs> it seems a little bit random, like... I, you'd expect, like, the UK and Canada and the US, but then, out of nowhere, I've got, like, a huge demographic of people from the Philippines that watch me, which is awesome, but also a little bit of a mystery. I don't know why. I'm grateful for you guys, but um, this is, from what I understand, a predominantly Philippine fast food restaurant. I think it focuses mainly on chicken. And, um, I mean, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I know that there's a few in the US, but um, I know that I had a lot of uh, subscribers very happy when I made this. And um, I really like the design of the restaurant, and I have heard good things about it. So, uh, yeah, Jollibee. So this is my modern hotel. This is probably the best hotel that I've made. I really, really like it. It's multifaceted, and I'm going to show you the entire outside because you can, like, see a lot of the inside as well. We've got a car park around the back. We've got multiple floors. All of the bedrooms are the same, by the way, or rooms, I should say, are the same. We've got an outdoor balcony um, which has a pool and a bar and a chill-out section. We have the outside of a restaurant. We have um, in here, we have... Is this called a foyer? to a hotel, I don't even know, but this is where you would like check in, and this is the front desk slash help desk, and um, we have, oh, I'll, I'll show you one of the rooms, the rooms are all very, very similar to this, it's just like a very simple bed, um, TV, place to put clothes, a little bathroom, like they're all pretty much identical except for the colours, and um, we also have like the inside of the restaurant as well, and we even have like, I've made like a little kitchen too, I'm just, I'm just a big fan of this build, I think it's the best restaurant that restaurant i think it is the best hotel that i've made and it's it makes a huge statement too like this will take you a long time to make as well if you did decide to make this but um it's i think it is well worth it i love that build 
Next up, we have a gym. So this is just a nice little simple modern gym, and I'll explain why this came about. I've made several gyms. I have a fascination with them, but I got into making just like quick builds. I haven't made one in a while, but if I come up with one in my mind, then I'll I'll throw it on the channel. But I, I'm I've, I've been making loads of little quick builds, and uh, I made like a um, this would be like a power rack or a power cage for a gym where you would perform um, usually large complex barbell exercises and um, we have like just weight machines and we have like treadmills and we have exercise bikes and I made a bunch of them so and I was like well I might as well make a gym to go with it and hence is the genesis of this tiny little gym plus I do think that that looks quite like a bike I will say that maybe that can be my next little quick build it's not the best looking it's easier to make bikes if um, and stuff like if you manipulate armor stands but I'm somebody that doesn't really like doing all of that I'm gonna be honest with you I like nice simple quick stuff so um, I might uh, I might check that on the channel it just sort of looks like a bike moving on down we have a modern chick Filet. Now, this is one that I do think transcends America a little bit. I know that it is an American-based fast food chain restaurant, but if one can separate uh, the owner from the food, I know that there's been a little bit of controversy. Apparently, the food is quite good. Like, the chicken, apparently, there's something about it where it's, it's just... It is good stuff and i would like to try this we don't have one in the uk or we might literally sometimes we'll have like one in the uk and when i say one i mean literally one like i think that we've got like one denny's somewhere which is another like american thing but um i would like to try chick-fil-a at the very least once to see what the fuss is apparently about i couldn't reverse out there but modern chick-fil-a um we have samsung so this is a Samsung store, and the genesis of this is number one, I use a Samsung myself, so, and I've made an Apple store, and it felt like I was cheating on my phone by not having one of these, but number two, uh, I designed a phone, like, as a quick build. This is it. Now, if you get away from the fact that it sort of looks like a popsicle, because <laughs> there's a wooden stick hanging out of the bottom of it i think that it's quite a convincing phone like just laid on the table and uh as a result of that i decided to make this store to go along with it and i'd also made an apple store so you know there is uh, there is that as well so uh next up we have whataburger so whataburger once again we have an American fast food chain restaurant. I don't know much about this whatsoever other than the fact that it is fast food related and you know me, if there's food involved, I'm there. So I was asked to make it and I did. Like we have a little bit of a bathroom inside of this one and just a bunch of seats and very simple layout and we have just like the kitchen and customer area and what have you. Um, it's just very, very clean. I think the whole design of it. I mean, I'd even like the outside, I, I just re I do actually really like the design. It is very very clean. It's very symmetrical. I will say that it's very pleasant. So next up, something a bit more interesting perhaps is a circus. So this is a giant circus tent, absolutely huge. Not that fun to make, but the end result you can't argue with. And I also show you how to make the inside of the circus in the tutorial as well. We have the ring, the tightrope, we have all of the gymnastic stuff, and. <laughs> it always comes back to this, but we have like balloon carts, but we also have like a little popcorn cart as well <laughs> And we've got like uh, a pretzel stand too and there's like a hot dog cart somewhere um, I don't know where there should be one um, Maybe I f maybe I deleted it and replaced it with the popcorn But there was like a hot dog stand and there was a candy floss and and it all comes back to food and uh, there's a little elephant and a ring of fire I'm pretty sure I'll show you how to make absolutely everything involved with uh, with this build um, in the tutorial But definitely a, a fun one to add to the city. I think it's if that doesn't make a statement I don't know what does you know um, Here we just have oh, this is a little bit fun. This is just a mr. Beast burger um, restaurant so uh, Again, just very simple, little modern design. Got a bunch of branding. It's pink and pink and uh, blue, which I kind of like because it always rem it also reminds me of the sweets, the pink and blues. I don't know if you guys have ever had those. Kind of an old fashioned sweet at this point in time, but yeah, Mr. Beast Burger. Now this 
is The Simpsons House. I thought it would be fun to have The Simpsons House as an easter egg in our cities. There's a hot tub here. I don't- Don't ask me why there's a hot tub- There shouldn't be a hot tub here. There should be a sand pit and a tree. I must have decided to put a quick build in the backyard. <laughs> That shouldn't be there, but anyway, um, the Simpsons build is actually made in its entirety. I'm pretty sure it's all one tutorial as well. Um, I show you how to make the entire inside and the outside, and I think it's a it's just a fun build to have in your city. It's kind of like a little Easter egg. So um, this is a this is the most luxurious McDonald's that I've ever made. Is what this is. So, I don't know where I saw it, but I saw, like, the fanciest McDonald's, list of ten fanciest McDonald's, and um, this is inspired from uh, one of the pictures on the list that I've seen. I don't know where this is from exactly. It is somewhere in Europe, but I, I cannot remember, but it's based on the one of the world's most fanciest McDonald's, and I can't fly up here, which is unfortunate, and... Uh, it's got a couple of bathrooms, it's multi-level, the kitchen's quite cool, and I don't know, I just like the vibe of it. I, re I really enjoy it, so if you wanted to have like a particularly fancy looking McDonald's in your world, then look no further. This is a modern office building. I... I don't know why I've got a fascination with like skyscrapers and office buildings and stuff like that, but um, it's just a giant office building and um, what's more is it's repeatable also. So it's nice, cool, easy modern design. The entire inside is made, it's got like an office, it's got like a lobby on each floor, it's got um, just like a boss's office and it's got a bunch of cubicles with computers in it and stuff. I'd, I'd show you around it, but it's not that interesting. Um, <laughs> Uh, next up, we have a diner. So this is just a good old classic um, themed diner. Oddly enough, in the UK, there is quite a few American diners. Bit strange, but you know. Uh, so we've just got some like outdoor picnic benches to eat at. And we've just kind of got like that classic, I want to say 50s sort of like vibe in here with a jukebox and kind of like the floor and kind of like just, um, just like the layout and the... Just sort of like general vibe. Like I just really like it. It's like I said, oddly enough, like it's not it's not just like out of movies, like there's just these kind of like randomly dotted around the place. I just kind of like the I like how it looks. Like um I don't know. I just like the colours. It kind of just stands out. It's just a little something different to make. Um this is just a standard modern cafe. So I mean cafe, modern style, it's got an outside uh eating slash drinking area the inside's kind of cool too like we've just got like a bunch of uh it just feels like a nice place to kind of just like sit and chill out like that's the counter with all the food and the drinks and stuff and the coffee machine and this is just the outside with just the tables and um i don't know i just like it it's like nice easy to make it's instead of just making chains all the time sometimes i like to just make like different uh, different styles um, this is just a Greg's. Now, Greg's, I do think, is only UK-based. I do want to say that, although I might be wrong. Um, it's basically... How do I describe... How do I describe Greg's to people that have never been to Greg's? It's, it's a place that sells just like, I don't know, baked goods. Like, sort of okay quality. <laughs> like, a place to get sandwiches and donuts and sweets and savoury stuff. and Like, it's just like a nice, cheap quick option for like food and mainly just sausage rolls i mean that that's the entire thing about greg's i don't even know how to describe it really but um yeah so if you need food in a pinch i will say not my favorite i will say that but i do like the design of the build and i mean i you know, sometimes I can succumb to Greg's. I mean, we all can, but... Anyway, this is the Chum Bucket. So, in kind of, like, my style of sort of, like, hide, hiding Easter eggs in my city, like, I made a couple of, uh, of things. Not only the Simpsons House and uh, the Chum Bucket, but the Krusty Krab, and I think that there's a couple of others as well. So, this uh, the Chum Bucket, it's... I, I've tried to get as close to the actual Chum Bucket itself... Uh, you know, like the actual chum bucket. I've tried to make it as realistic as possible to that, but also kind of like just in a functional like fast food restaurant vibe. Like it's not the nicest sort of place to sit and eat, but it's more meant for show, you know. <laughs> but uh, I think that it's kind of just cool to dot in your city, like next to your Chick Fil A and McDonald's and Greg's. There is the chum bucket, you know. 
Um, we've got just a modern KFC over here. I love this build. Um, just so... Again, it's just kind of like so modern, so simple. I like the layout. I like the outside. The layout on the inside is a little bit different. Like we've got just like a big, giant, open bunch of tables. We've got an ice cream machine in here. That wasn't in the original design. We've got we've got uh, a bathroom. I think I made some of my quick builds in uh, in random places. So I think that that is why uh, my ice cream machine is here. But that used to be a drinks machine. Um, we have just like, you know, just like a nice little kitchen, drive through window, and I do believe there's like even a back door and like a fridge and stuff. Like, I just, I just like how it's laid out. I just, I, I just like it. I think it's a nice, clean, modern KFC. We have a jewelry store. So, just a nice, simple looking jewelry store. We have a couple of displays for the windows. We uh, can walk through. I kind of like this design where, like, the door is set back and we can kind of, like, look left and right into the store. And the inside is very simple as well. Bunch of display cabinets featuring all sorts of different stuff and perhaps some more uh, expensive items kind of, like, get their own little display. And we've kind of got, like, a, a cabinet over there with a suit of armor in it for some reason. And <laughs> we even have watches here as well in the form of, like, a compass and actual clock. I mean, they're meant to kind of, like, emulate watches. And I don't no, it's, it's, it's just kind of cool. I really like it. There's also a side entrance. I think that this is meant to be kind of like an escape door, I think. Because I think I've played too much Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> so I think that there needs to be an escape entrance. But yeah, nice little jewelry store. Here we have a Gucci store. This was uh, specifically requested... I don't think I've ever been into one of these, but um, I like the design of it nonetheless. Like, it's a pretty cool clothing store. Like, we've got all of the racks, and we've kind of got the displays, and we've got a changing room over there, and it just find, kind of feels cool in here. I don't, I don't know. I, I really like it. And Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's the changing rooms, too. Um, I don't know. I just like it. I like the vibe. I like the modern build. Um, I like how open, and I, it, just, it just feels cool in here. Uh, next up, we have... A modern Tanko Bell, um, and we've got a drive through as well, which I kind of like. I like that the drive through. oh no, it, it feels it feels kind of cool that it's just like a nice big loop. Um, I don't know, I, I guess a lot of my drive throughs are, but um, I, actually I haven't been doing that recently. I've been making smaller ones, but the inside's nice and simple as well. Just an old area, eating area. I mean, what what more is there to say? It's a modern Taco Bell. I will say I do prefer the classic builds, but sometimes you've got to change it up. You can't just fill a city with just like the same build all the time. So, um, here is the Krusty Krab. Speaking of Easter eggs, um, this is the Krusty Krab converted into like an actual. Um, fast food restaurant. So we've got all of the tables. We've uh, got. Um, we are lacking a couple of things, but I had to make it like I had to actually make it a bit more functional. So this is like the kitchen, which is you know close to the actual kitchen. I mean the eating area is very very close as well. We even have like the order areas similar. Um, we don't have Mr. Crab's office, so instead I just I I just chuck some toilets in here instead. And um, I don't know. I think I did a pretty good job converting it. I, I really like it. That's probably the last crusty crab that I will ever be making. I've made a few of them at this point. Here we have a Nando's. Um, Nando's. Can't go wrong. Nice little cheeky Nando's. It's a modern variety of Nando's. I mean, we have a giant outdoor eating area. We have the giant chicken logo, which I kind of like. Um, the inside I really like as well because it's kind of got that sort of homey vibe, which um, at least the old Nando's I've been to are, um, are kind of like this. Like, it just feels like nice and warm and homey. It doesn't usually feel too... Um, it doesn't feel modern or... Corporate might be the word. I'm, I'm, maybe not, but it, it just feels like nice and warm in here. Nando's, by the way, is a... I do believe it is only UK-based, but there might be a couple dotted around. There's probably like one or two in America somewhere. and I think there might be one in Australia, actually. I think one of my subscribers told me, but it's a fast food chicken restaurant, pretty much, mostly. Very, very nice. Um, next, we have a modern apartment complex. So this is one of those where it is repeatable, so like you can make as many floors as you like. And um, we even have like a little pool and patio area out the back here. And what I like about this one as well is um, we have like kind of like a little, um, we, we have like a little reception sort of area. So there's like a little help desk and 
we have mail and we even have like a little gym and um, all of the floors are pretty identical but I do kind of want to show you just inside here so this is um, this is like a kitchen slash dining room slash living room this is a bathroom I mean it's kind of like small apartments really and this is like uh, just a little bedroom so um, the apartments are a little bit small but um, you know, I mean, some apartments are small. So, um, yeah, just a cool little apartment building. Now, here we have my hospital. The hospital is huge. Um, it's got one, two, three, four, five floors, and it's got just a bunch of of different facets to the hospital i'll i'll show you a couple of floors but i'm not going to go beyond that and there's a giant car park out of the back as you might expect a hospital to have we've got a an ambulance we've got a hospital helicopter a rescue helicopter one might call it there's vending machines oh in the base of the hospital there's like as quite a few have there's like a little cafe um there's like a place that you can quickly buy um people like food and like teddies and stuff to make them feel better magazines we have a set of lifts and we have a set of stairs we have like uh, an entrance area kind of like a nurse's station but kind of like a reception desk um, again sort of like vending machines we have an a and e area so if you quickly just have to be seen or an emergency sort of like room um, not really an emergency room, kind of like an A&E area, really. Um, I guess it is an emergency room. That is what the E stands for, I suppose. But uh, accident and emergency. But uh, we have these stairs, and every every single floor is laid out in a similar sort of manner. Like, we've got, like, a big hallway with, like, a nurse's station at the end. And we will have, like, wards, so with, like, different beds in them. Um, but then each floor will feature a different sort of speciality like so this is like a maternity floor where you know new newborns would be here um, we have toilets on pretty much every single floor as well and oh we also have operation rooms um, in uh, on this particular level so little little operating rooms and um, like the next floor it will be different and like this the next floor here has like a, an x-ray machine on it which I think is kind of cool and then this one has an MRI machine which is sort of like an x-ray but I think it's like a whole body sort of thing I think that you can see more with it I know that it's essentially a giant magnet so if you if you've got any pocket change you might want to take it out of your pockets Oh, and I guess that we just have one floor that is just like a bunch of wards as well. And as we climb up to the top here, we have access to the roof, which I think is pretty cool too. So on the roof is the helipad with the helicopter. And um, you can actually get onto uh, the little side roof as well. So if you do want a close look at that, I, I would recommend checking out the tutorial. It is one of my favorite builds that I've done. I really, really like the hospital a lot. And uh, similar to the hospital, we have Smith's, which is a toy store. <laughs> Absolutely not similar in any way. So, unfortunately, since Toys R Us have kind of went, you know, see you later, um, Smith's is kind of like the answer to it, or at least in the UK. It's a big, giant toy store. It sells kind of everything as well. Like, it's not just like uh, like kids' toys and stuff. Like, it's video games, and it's like trading cards and stuff. So if you're into into that sort of stuff, like... It's, it's kind of fun to walk around because it's it's not quite as nostalgic as uh, Toys R Us. Um, as a matter of fact, there's no nostalgia because it's relatively new, or at least not for me. Toys R Us is kind of like nostalgic because it was, you know, childhood. But um, it's kind of cool. So um, I do think it is only UK-based, though. But it's essentially, you know, Toys R Us, but... Uh, I guess British. Um, here we have, so this is an aquarium, but it, more so it's a place to buy fish, so, I, which I still suppose are called aquariums, but it's kind of like a modern fish shop, and we just have like a, a bunch of fish. I actually like the interior to this a lot, like it's, it's really cool. Um, it's one of those where I actually like the interior uh, more than the outside, but... Um, I really, really like it. We've even got like a little Easter egg with like SpongeBob's house in the uh, pufferfish um, display, and um, we've got like some uh, water plants as well that we can buy. And then like back here, we've got more stuff too. So I'd be able to add exotals to this. I might even make a new one of these. And we even have like a turtle at the back here as well. So um, I do believe that that is Leonardo. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I, it's just really quite like I like the inside of these a lot so 
you want to make a fish shop slash aquarium, you know what to do. Um, next, we have a comic book shop, just a nice, simple-looking comic book shop. Um, it's actually inspired from, I do believe it's called Android's, the Android's Dungeon from The Simpsons. It's, it's quite inspired from that, so um, that's why it looks the way it does. And then, just on the inside, I mean, it's not really, but the outside is. And it's, it's just everything that one might expect to find in a uh, comic book store. Just a bunch of comic books and a bunch of, like, little memorabilia from comics and movies and stuff. And just kind of, like, a nice, fun little build to add to your high street if you wanted to. Um, this is a donut stand. So, I mean, need I say more? <laughs> it's a place to buy donuts. And it's a stand. There you go. Um, here we have a classic Burger King. You guys know that I have a fascination with uh, classic restaurants and uh, I like classic McDonald's, classic KFC, classic Burger King. Um, we'll see more as we progress through, but yeah, just a nice, simple, sort of classic, clean uh, Burger King. There's nothing else to say about it, really. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I, I love the fact that, by the way, I mean, my old style McDonald's, I love the fact that the old school Burger King and the old style McDonald's, the only difference is it's like red and blue. <laughs> But, um, well, that and the McDonald's logo is so much cooler. I mean, I think that we can all agree on that. But next up we have, oh, number one. This is another one of those builds that I kind of like just added after the fact. This is just a nice little foam box. But this is a karate studio. So this karate studio, um, it's, I, I don't know, it's exactly how I expect like a modern sort of karate studio to look like. They've always got the big glass windows in front. We've got like a bunch of uh, karate related posters. Although that's supposed to be an angel apparently. Like the actual painting that it's based on. All Minecraft paintings are based on real paintings. That's supposed to be some sort of angel. I choose to think that somebody jumping, uh, jumping and karate chopping something. So, um, on the inside of the studio we have kind of like, you know, the mat and stuff where, um, you would spar and train and what have you we have some punching bags and we have like a little seating area and we have a little changing room as well and this is supposed to be a mirror but I would not do that um, <laughs> I would I'd, I'd go with a different design for the mirror and um, yeah just again kind of like a fun fun build to add to the city um, this is a news stand so um, oh and again kind of like with the quick builds this is this is a post box um, but we have a little newsstand, which is, you know, something that you'd, again, kind of find in a city or a high street, or maybe not anymore, perhaps more so in the bigger cities where you'd be able to get the paper or a magazine or something and a drink or whatever it is you might be looking for. It's almost like a convenience store, but not, not quite. It's, it's not, not really as permanent as a structure, but, uh, we have a taco truck. Big fan of this. Giant taco on the top. Order here. Need I say more? Um, oh, here we have Moe's Tavern. I forgot that I made this. Perfect. So this is Moe's Tavern. It's actually not... It, it's very, very close. Like, it, it's decently close to the actual design of Moe's Tavern. I did change a thing or two, as I did remember. But, like, all of the stuff on the roof. Like, the inside is very, very similar. Like, we've got, like, the pool table. We've got some booths. We've got, like... Um, uh, the jukebox, we've got like, there's loads of flags and posters on the wall and stuff like, we've got the jar, and we've got the, uh, the love tester machine, and it's, I don't know, I just really, really like Moe's Tavern, I think that it's a cool little design, um, we've got like a cigarette machine as well, which is kind of like a throwback to the old days, I don't think that those exist anymore, unless I'm wrong, but, um, yeah, just like a nice cool little thing to add to your city, I love the easter eggs. Um, here we have a milkshake store, which sells, you're not going to guess, milkshakes. So, it's just a nice, clean, fun little store. Um, you can get all sorts of little different varieties of stuff to put in your milkshakes. That's what all the advertisement is. Um, I really like this. I think that it's, uh, it's again, another, another fun one to add to the city. 
Now, this is a construction site, and I think that there might even be even more vehicles. Um, I might be wrong, actually. This might be, uh, they might actually be in the yard there, but um, we have like, th this construction yard comes with, like, it is a multifaceted uh, tutorial. Like, uh, we have like an excavator here. We have like a crane as well. Like, I teach you how to make all sort all of these uh, vehicles individually. Like, the giant construction site, including the crane and kind of like the actual construction project, and like the containers and the wood and um, I show you how to make um, that is a bulldozer um, that is a um, steamroller not in that order steamroller bulldozer we have like a cement truck and then we have like a, a dump truck um, yeah just, I really like this by the way like all all of this together like I just I think that the, it just feels like a little bit alive for some reason you know like with the vehicles coming and going like surrounding the actual construction site I think it'd be fun to put in like a particular part of your city now speaking of gyms this is the favorite one that I've made this is my modern gym I think that it's called on the channel and um, is the biggest gym that I've made and it's pretty cool because it's got kind of like a little cafe area but it's also got a pool area which I won't bother showing you because you, I mean you can see it from here there's also a steam room um, there's like changing room I will show it you so there's changing rooms and then out of the back here it's quite detailed like there's showers uh, there's the pool which I really like it's just chilled out it feels like a spa in here there's like a little steam room as well which I really like and um, then uh, I've got to come all the way back through we'll come back through the other changing room although it's identical to the first and then we've got the cafes we already saw but then upstairs we have all of the gym equipment so all of the dumbbells and the free weights and kind of like um, like all of the just the gym machines and the treadmills and there might be exercise bikes somewhere and kind of like just like a little cardio boxing area and water fountains and oh no I, I just really really like it I'm I'm a big fan of uh, of the gym and. Um, it was uh, definitely a fun one to make. I think it is the best one that I've made. Although, again, you can't just keep remaking the same ones again. So if you do want a small little gym, I mean, that also serves a function too. Um, this is a Chinese takeaway. Um, I I love Chinese food. I don't like takeaways. <laughs> it's perfect. I really like how this turned out. Like, this is a classic sort of British-looking Chinese. Like, it's... it's I, I really like it in here like I love the interior like it's simple there's a little waiting area I love the colors I like the decor um, upstairs there's also like a little kitchen as well and a little sleeping area because sometimes these have like little tiny apartments but um, there's like a food preparation area and just like a tiny little room and what have you like it's not uncommon for these to um, you know be rented out or to be lived in by um, either a family that might own and operate this or you know rent it out to uh, just an individual and um, just a just a cool one to add to your street I think I really like the Chinese takeaway I love how that turned out so this next one is once again an American fast food chain this is an in and out burger um, I don't know what too much to say about this because again we don't really have this in the UK I like the drive through area like I like the little canopy the overhang um, if we come inside then it's kind of like oh yeah I forgot about this it, it I actually really like the interior because we've got like a little bit of greenery and we have just like it just feels a little bit warmer on the inside here I, I really like this I, I sort of like the vibe I like the terracotta of the floor and the plants and stuff it's based on a real in and out I do remember that and uh, I think it turned out quite well Next, we have a Christmas store, which we are rapidly approaching, actually, at the time that I'm uh, making this video. So this is just a Christmas store. Like, we have, like, little mock presents outside and Christmas trees kind of, like, wrapped up in boxes. And on the inside, we have, like, a little Christmas tree in the middle. I don't know where all the leaves have went on it, but and we have, like, candy canes and we have just, like, stuff on display for, like... We have like stockings that we can buy and just like little train sets and stuff like I might try and make another Christmas store this year I, I think that I can probably improve this but I don't know I just really like it It's just like a nice little simple Christmas shop um, I kind of like it. it's got like a ribbon It's got like the candy canes on the side and stuff 
Moving on, we have the Lego store. I love the Lego store. Lego stores are some of the coolest stores to go into. I love the Lego store. So inside, we have like... Um, just like a bunch of random stuff to try and kind of like represent some of the sets and what have you. So like, you know, like this, the paintings are sort of like meant to represent like boxes of Lego. We've got like a bunch of like, um, red and yellow in here. Like I like the color scheme a lot. Like we've got some Lego bricks, use air quotes. So like, you know, the, uh, the planks and the buttons kind of look like Lego bricks and some of the corals kind of look a little bit like, you know, sets that might be put together. Like even the lighting kind of like looks like bricks as well. Like this is like a brick on its side. So, um, bunch of colors in here. I really like the vibe. I, I think that this looks awesome. It's such a cool thing to put in a city. I like, I really like, it. I think it's perfect. I love that. Oh, here we have a classically designed subway. So this is cool. I like this a lot. This is based on my first subway that I ever made. It is insanely big, the original. Like the big the, the original version of Subway that I made isn't it doesn't even make sense how huge it is. It's like literally twice the size, maybe even three times. So I think I took that design and I ran with it and I actually turned it into uh, a just, you know, like an actual workable subway I, I really like this build I, I think that it's cool i like the kitchen i like i like the seating area i like that it feels a little bit uh, a little bit homier it feels a little bit warmer and um I re the the outside design that i like i really do like that i mean i don't know if you guys might remember it but the classically designed subway that i did a very 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 long time ago now like it's it's based on this but i mean this is the actual like usable version uh, here we have a classic KFC, so kind of in, in the classic vibes, this is what KFC looked like once upon a time. I'm sure this had a few iterations as well, um, maybe even before this and since, but um, yeah, just kind of like a classically designed KFC um, to kind of go with the classic McDonald's, the classic Burger King, the classic Subway, you know. Um, I like these, it's like a nice little blast to the past, um, uh, just kind of like a little nostalgia, it's fun. Um, this is a modern Starbucks. I like this a lot. I think that this is cool. I like Starbucks itself. I like modern. I like building stuff for my city. What what else is there to say? Just like a nice, nice little chilled out vibe as all of these coffee shops seem to have. Um, definitely one to uh, one to add if uh, if you do like yourself a bit of Starbucks. Now this is just a regular run of the mill bar. It's got like an outside uh, outside eating slash drinking area. It's kind of a bit more British, I think, in the fact that I've, I think that that's what I was thinking, kind of like a bit more of a classic design using the bricks and we've kind of like got the overhang and the heat lamps and um, on the inside here, like we've got some toilets through, through here and we've kind of got like, uh, kind of like a warm feeling sort of like classic feeling bar and just like a couple of seats I'd be tempted to make another one of these bars. Oh and a little jukebox as well in the corner I'd be tempted to uh, remake this um, I think that I'd choose a bit of a different style maybe like uh, go for a bit more of a modern style So I might do that myself um, Next up we have a graveyard slash cemetery. I don't actually know the difference. They might be interchangeable, but um is it weird to say that I like this? I, f I like the build. I think that it's quite cool. Um, I like all of the different use of materials and the colors, and I like the diorite, and I like the... Uh, um, what is this thing called? A tomb is the wrong word, right? It's... Uh, I can't remember what this particular thing is called, but um, like multiple bodies may be buried here, like typically families and what have you might um, sometimes all be in one particular one of the name that is... Uh, leaving me at the moment but i really like it i, I really like uh, this build it's kind of halloweeny as well it's kind of like fitting that we've uh, came across this um but the counterpart to this is not only this hearse which um i i do say i do i do quite like uh, the design of the hearse um we've got like the coffin in the back with some flowers and what have you but um we have the church and uh, the church is a bit more of a modern style but I really, really like this. Uh, I, I do think it's such such a clean design. Like, And we've got stained glass as well. That's why the windows are different colors to kind of like emulate kind of like the stained glass pattern that, uh, that you might see. And uh, on the inside, the inside is also clean and simple as well. We've just got the, are they called pews? The seats, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, not particularly sure about all the terminology, but um, very, very clean. 
very very much like it um, definitely a cool one to add to the city and it's it's like modern but it's not too modern either like it's it's just kind of like a perfect blend um, this is a dentist not uh, everybody's favorite but this is like you know just a, a regular run-of-the-mill dentist it feels a bit outdated might have to remake this but this is like a little waiting room um, toothbrushes on sale and parts and toothpaste and we have like the actual dentist office here like with the chair and oh the dreaded chair and the <laughs> the light above the head and stuff and um, like the little um, spit sink and what have you like ugh. Not my favourite place to go, the dentist, but um, I do think it's quite a cool build. I I would be tempted to redo this, honestly. Like I, I do quite like it, but I I think that we could do a bit of a better job. Um, next we have again, this is kind of fitting. We have a Halloween store, just like a nice, cool sort of like simple Halloween store. I like the design of it. Um, we've got kind of like the cauldron here, just with stuff in the in the corner, and um, inside the store it's just like a bunch of costumes and just like webs and um, just like mushrooms and cauldrons and jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins and I, d I just really like it. I do like how I like the holidays a lot not, not just Halloween but um, oh here we have a pet store I think I'm gonna remake a pet store I know that I say that about a lot of these builds, but I do I, I do have the urge to do a pet store but this is a pet store and um, inside of it I mean it's a bit more of a modern design but inside of it you know we've got like um, places for all, all different sorts of pets and we've got like a little aquatic section at the back and we've got a place like to buy uh, uh, oh we've got even like a little bird section there's like um, th there's like accessories for the pets and cages and stuff like hutchers and yeah it, it's, it's just a very nice clean easy uh, easy little pet store that you can add to your city um, next up we have modern McDonald's I love the design of this. Um, I think it's absolutely perfect. A lot of these older builds, like, you know, with the pet store and stuff, I'll be like, ah, oh, there's room for improvement. But I really like how this turned out. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that this is uh, this is re really nice. I, I really do like it. So um, the inside, I mean, it's uh, I, I like the layout too. Like, we've just kind of got the booths and then the place in the middle with, like, the iPads and stuff that, uh, that you can kind of enjoy. And kind of like the uh, self-order machines and um, this is the drive through window in the back and just the kitchen yeah I'm, I'm just a big fan of it I, I think that uh, I think that that's one of the better modern builds that I've made I think um, very very happy with that I completely forgot that I made this but this is a car wash so we have a couple of different washing areas here and we kind of have this little self-service to the side or I suppose it wouldn't be self-service somebody else would be using it but um, Oh, we also have like a little indoor part too. What's in here? Oh, it's just kind of like a little seating area and like a coffee machine. And oh, you can watch the cars go through as well. A little payment area. That's kind of cool. Oh, and look, a sponge too. So there's like sponges and that's pretty cool actually. So that's like a little, uh, a little modern car wash. I actually really like that. Um... Oh, this is a Shell petrol station. Uh, again, I have a fascination with petrol stations, so um, I think somebody specifically requested that I make a Shell petrol station, and um, here we are. Uh, <laughs> what more is there to say? It's a petrol station, and we also have like a little um, a little shop attached to it as well. And these things are never too complicated, but you know, just like a little cash machine and like a little coffee machine and a bin and like a little fridge freezer that you can get like sandwiches in and stuff like it's pretty cool I, yeah I, I like the design of it it's, it's pretty big in comparison to my tesco's one but then again uh shell is like a, a bigger company i suppose or at least they specialize in the in the whole petrol game i suppose or gas game whatever so next we have a walmart very very cool i, I like the giant there's a giant car park i forgot how big this car park is but walmart of course being why what, what i would say is it the biggest u.s supermarket i think so right i mean i might be wrong um the counterpart in the uk is asda but we have like a little flower section up here at the front and oh this is late i like this so we have like a produce section like right up at the front here we've got loads of produce to the side we've got like a little butcher section little uh, a little 
uh, cake section, little bakery, some fridges, the freezer at the back, and we've kind of got the uh, the tills as well. I, I actually like how this is laid out too. Um, what's back here then? Oh, so there's like a warehouse here as well. I decided to make a warehouse with this one. Um, nothing else up there. Is this, there's something else, right? Yes, there is. Oh, like a little employee chill out area. That's pretty cool with like different vending machines and stuff. If I remember correctly, the reason that I made the warehouse part is because back here... Oh, it's not back here, but there is also like a loading bay and there should be a truck back here as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, or a lorry but yeah walmart pretty that i really like that actually and, and once again like when we go back to these older bills i'm not usually happy with them but i'm very happy with walmart um same with this little grocery store as well actually this is kind of cool um little flower section outside like giant vending machine um cash machine slash atm little produce um if we come inside here I mean, what do we have in here yeah just like, kind of like a tiny little bakery uh coffee coffee place Fridge freezers, a little bit of a tiny little clothing section, just kind of like a good all use sort of like general store, really. Really, really cool. Uh, I really like the design of that as well. Like, that's so incredibly simple. Yeah, I, I just really, really like it. Um, what is this? Oh, is this a bee farm? Oh, this is like a this is like a honey farm. This is like a bee farm. That's crazy. So this would probably this would be on like the outskirts of your city. This would kind of be like in kind of like where you would put a farm and stuff. It's like a little farm shop. That's really cool, but specifically devoted to bees. I really like this. I clearly must have made this when bees were introduced into uh, into Minecraft. Uh, I really like that. That, that that's really cute. This, this is the kind of thing, like, as you start moving out to the cities and the towns and stuff, like, you would find this, like, just along the road, something very similar to this. Um, just kind of like a nice little farm shop. Um, this is Jump World, which is my trampoline park, which I, I remember and I do really like this. So this is, like, where you'd get all kitted up, you get the special, like, uh, the, uh, the non-slip socks on and stuff, and... Um, just a bunch of uh, fun stuff. And this is all bouncy, as I remember. Yep, we've got the slime in here. And there's just like a, a bunch of fun things to do. Like you can jump off there into like the ball pit. And this is just like a big giant like area. Just big place to mess about. And we've got kind of like um, the monkey bars. We've got some basketball here. And just like another one of those uh, those pits that you can do. Foam pits that you can kind of just like jump in. Really, really fun. I like, I like the layout of this one as well. I, I don't think I'd ever have to make another trampoline park. I think that uh, that one is perfect. And I like the modern design as well. Really cool. Um, here we have... Oh, so this is a hot dog... Hot dog van? Yes, we've got, it's a giant hot dog on top. Of course it's a hot dog van. Um, it sells hot dogs. I mean, what, what more is it to say? I like the hot dog banner as well. Um, oh, this is just like a little coffee stand. So this is kind of reminiscent to me of, you know, like the burger, burger shop and stuff. Like it's just a tiny little, this would be off to the side in maybe like a town center, city center or something. Um, you'd have seats on the outside. It's, it is what it is. Um, this is a car transportation lorry. I don't know what, what else you would call this really, but I mean, this, uh, it takes cars places. The ca who drives the cars? <laughs> Wait, no, we drive the cars. Who drives the cars when the cars don't have drivers? This guy does. <laughs> <laughs> what am I even saying? So this is for the car dealership anyway. So uh, we have car dealership. We have a bunch of cars on the front here. I've got a bunch of cars around the back. And on the inside, I mean, you'll be able to see we do have a couple of displays just for a couple of uh, different cars. And we have a place where you would make deals for said cars. This is where you would sit and work out the finances and what have you. If you need to chill out, little uh, little place here and... Um, where you can get like a coffee and just chill. And here we have just like a couple of the perhaps higher range cars. Um, the more expensive stuff, as it were, just kind of like hanging out inside, which you can still see from the outside, which I appreciate. The same reason that I like the, uh, the motorbike dealership as well. Um, moving on down, we have a post office. So this is a Royal Mail van. This is... Uh, 
I did kind of postman patty. I'm getting postman pat vibes from this. Just uh, a male truck, a male van for the equivalent, um, a male lorry. These are kind of cool lorries as well. They're always they're sort of nice looking. I like the red and like the gold or yellow um, with the with the um, with the crown and what have you. It's kind of cool. Um, big giant uh, male lorry, male truck. We've got like a little little post box here as well. Um, this is where the van would be. It would be stored in here. And this is the actual post office. So this is, uh, you know, where you would... These are the people that work uh, that would help you out with uh, with your parcels, either taking them or sending them off. And we've got just a bunch back here and a tiny little warehouse. Just really cool. I really like that. I love I love these sorts of like random little builds. I guess a post office isn't random, but I, d I just really like it. Um, next we have IHOP. So IHOP is once again kind of like one of those American uh, American fast food restaurants. I think it's was that an ocelot? Okay, well, that makes sense. So, this is kind of one of those American um, fast food places, but I think it's more specialized in breakfast, I do want to say. I think there's like one of these in the UK. I think it's kind of like that sort of situation, but um, nice simple layout. I like I like the inside of it. I like the outside. This is a remake. I remember making a huge version of it, and um, it was like insanely big. So... I think that I like scale down like the huge version into uh, into what we see here. I'm un I'm not going to question that ocelot. I'm just going to leave him be. Um, this is a just like a no no brand no name supermarket. It's just like a 24 seven supermarket, kind of like very nice modern design. I I remember liking the interior. Yeah, it's just nice and clean. Like we've got like a little bakery produce section. We've got like the little fridge freezers. We've got little aisles, and we've got um, the the tills. I mean, it's it's. I remember it being really really simple to make, but it, there's just something about it. Like as as you look at it, or at least I look at it, like it just stands out. I like the design of it a lot. I think it's really cool. Now that is why the ocelot is out. That makes sense. Okay, so this is a cat cafe. Um, I've never been to one of these, although I'm pretty sure that we do have them. Um, uh, a cat cafe, and sometimes there's this other one's just like pug cafes and stuff, rabbit cafes. Anyway, so this is a cat cafe, and it's a cat-themed cafe in which you can sit down and you can enjoy your drinks, but you can also buy like treats and stuff for cats, and there's like play areas, you've got the scratching posts, and quite often they'll have like um, like these tunnels and stuff like around the outside, and there's just cats all over, and it's just like a fun place to, I don't know what they're doing. But that seems... Okay. I thought they were stuck. They chose to do that. Okay, well, that's creepy. I'm getting out of here. But, um, yeah, fun. Fun, fun. Uh, cat Cafe, if you want to have a cat-related build in your world. Um, oh, uh, Costa Coffee. So, I might have to redo one of these. Because I'd, I'm not 100% happy with the design of this. Um, I think that we can make a lot of improvements. But, Costa Coffee, is the, I think it is probably the biggest UK chain of, like... I think it's... Again, you could probably call it the UK Starbucks, probably. Um, I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But, I mean, I think, I, I think that that's pretty accurate. And um, so, if you just think of Starbucks, but the UK... We've got Costa, Costa Coffee, also known as Costa Lot, because it is a little bit expensive. But yeah, just a modern coffee shop. And uh, a lot of these have drive throughs as well, funnily enough. So you, if you really, really, really need your coffee and you don't want to, you know, wait in line and what have you, then you've got a drive through um, Next up is a barber shop. Now, I actually, again, coming back to builds that I still really like, I think that this looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm really happy with this barber shop. Um, I like the design, it fit in well with like a more, again, we're kind of getting into the more classic style of building with the bricks and it's it's less modern, but um, the inside, I mean, you've got the barber's chairs, you've got the mirrors, you've got a waiting area, you've got magazines, you've got a TV to sit and watch, I mean, what, what more could you possibly want in a barber shop? Uh, next up, we have a bus stop. Which, I mean, there you go, just a pretty decent sized bus stop if you're waiting to catch the bus. Make this. Um, but the reason that we have the bus stop is because we have the bus station. So this is a modern bus station. And I still I still like the design of this very, very much. So this is more like a, st like a giant coach. So this is what uh, more... I mean, you might have been on something like this for like a school trip, really. Um, it's, it's kind of like more so that design. So um, this is more like a city bus. 
or at least I'd say like an American city bus or that. Do you guys have double deckers? Like, is it? It's not just the UK that have double deckers, right? They, they've got to be all over the place. But I think that whenever whenever I think of like a red double decker, it just makes me think of like the UK and London, which is what what this is like a classic like double decker bus. Um, I mean, that's what that's what I think of in my mind. Um, you know, like when I see a double decker, it just makes me think of like number one, just like a red London bus. Um, I don't know. It uh, it just does. But uh, bus station, it's kind of like a nice modern vibe. I really like it inside the bus station. Um, not only can you like buy tickets and stuff, but we've kind of got like a nice little bathroom. It's actually quite a nice bathroom. Um, we've got, again, no, this is the ticket. So like if this is where you might purchase like tickets from actual people and the... Uh, those would be like times and maybe if you can maybe it's like a self-serve sort of thing that might have been my idea waiting areas a vending machine we have like a little cafe attached to this and um, I'm pretty sure like you can just go is there something on the front here I think this is the front of the bus station yeah because we've got we've just got like these benches and you've got the uh, the little tickets and oh we've even got like a little car park here um this i imagine to be like where the buses would park you know there's obviously more than uh more buses than would be seen here but yeah very very cool now next up we have a target now target i understand to be an american supermarket and i from what i understand i'm not american i don't know but it's meant to be a little bit more upscale than walmart I don't know, you tell me in the comments, I'm not American, but this Target has a photo booth? That's pretty cool. We've got a little photo booth in here. That's pretty nice. Um, we have like a little produce section, we have um, we have fridges, we have freezers, we have aisles, and we have the tills. I mean, what, what more is there to say? Maybe this is where the truck is. There is definitely got to be a truck somewhere, guys. No, there isn't a truck around the back here. I thought that there would be. I was completely wrong. I, uh... Well, it, it's got to be somewhere. We'll find it. So, next up, we have... This would seem to be just a good old skyscraper. Yep, perfect. So, this is a good old ambiguous... Anything could be in here skyscraper. It could be apartment buildings. It could be an office. The inside is not done. It is just a cool building to include in your city. Like, it's just a nice looking building. I think that that looks great. Um, this is a chemist. So, obviously, for your medicines and such, um, look no further than this little chemist. I actually wouldn't mind making another one of these because the inside, I think, is a little bit dated. I think that we could do a little bit better, but I'm not sure I could actually do better with the outside. I think that the outside looks pretty great, actually. I'm, I'm really happy with how the outside of the chemist looks. Um, this is a laundromat. I don't think I've ever been in one of these in my life, but I always see them in movies. So, <laughs> I like the, by the way, I like the washing machine just like on the front as a logo. I actually, I really like the design of the building quite a bit here, but laundry, laundromat, um, place to do laundry. I, I guess in cities and in sm when people, maybe it's a money thing or maybe it's a space thing. Um, when people don't have their own washing and washers and dryers, then um, you can come and get, uh, come and, get it done here which seems a little bit weird to me really because i mean i wouldn't be comfortable like leaving my clothes and stuff in like one of these unless there's like a lock and key system i'm i'm not 100 percent sure but i uh, again i mean i that i assume these exist in the uk I, I don't know i've never seen one but um next up we have five guys now this we do have five guys i know from experience it's pretty good. Burgers and fries. It's very difficult to go wrong. So, um, we just have like a nice classic vibe on the outside. Nice chilled out warm vibe on the inside. I mean, what else is there to say? I, I really like it. I don't know if this is a drive -thru. No, it's not even a drive through this one. It's literally just, uh, literally just a building. But um, it's a bit different in style than some of my other fast food restaurants. So, I do appreciate that. Now, moving on down, this is the court... Not... <laughs> you know what? Maybe my courthouse is similar to my town hall. I almost called it my courthouse. I Well, there you go. So, this is a town hall. Um, it's got the giant clock. It's also a bit taller as well. So, I guess it's a bit grander than the courthouse. But on the inside, we just have like a giant meeting room. It's, it's quite nice in here, actually. It's very, very green, a little bit vibrant. 
a little bit of a waiting area so if you did want to see the mayor and this is kind of like a secretary's uh, little office here and then this would be the mayor's office so a uh, cool little town hall um i don't know if i would much improve it to be quite honest with you maybe maybe i'd make it look a little bit older because town halls in my mind are usually a little bit just a bit more of an older sort of building and this feels a bit newer but mm, I, i'm still happy with that um, here we have a Chili's. Chili's is, once again, an American fast food restaurant, I do believe. Um, I don't know what they specialize in. I'm guessing it may be, I'm guessing with the peppers and what have you, it could be perhaps a bit more of a Mexican style food or perhaps Tex-Mex. Um, not 100% sure we don't have them over here in the UK or it might be one of those where we have one but um, the layout is a little bit interesting like as I was going through all of these I was I was fully expecting to see kind of like the same sort of layout over and over again but um, there is a decent amount of variance I will say um, here is a bowling alley I don't think you can go wrong with the design of the bowling alley I mean if if you want to play bowl if you want to play bowling why doesn't that why does that sound weird play bowling but you do right that's you, if you want to bowl then i mean a giant bowling pin as a door is you know the place that i want to be we ha kind of have this little airlock here this is where you would um pay and just around the back here is where you would get your shoes and there's a little arcade as well and there's a little cafe and then we've got the lanes I love this. I, I think that this is great. This is, I, I love this build. This is fantastic. Very, very happy with this. I don't think that this is too outdated whatsoever. Um, very, very cool build. And then we've just got some car park spaces out from... Now, next up, we have a fire station. So this is based on my very first fire station. It's a bit of a remake, but hopefully a bit of a better one. It's kind of like a nice modern vibe for a fire station. We've got all of the garages for the fire trucks, and we've even got a fire and rescue helicopter. And this is kind of like a little bit of a lobby as well. So if you've got any inquiries or what have you, um, we've got kind of um, just like equipment, another fire truck, um, the fireman's pole that they would slide down from the, like if we come up here, um, we've got kind of like a chill little rec room. Um, if we come here, then we've got like a little bit of a gym and then we've kind of got like a, another like a, this is where you would get ready and then you would throw yourself down there, get in the truck and get going. I'm, I'm very happy with this. Again, I'm not, not dated, I don't think. Um, this is this is kind of fun. This is just kind of a drink stand slash slushy stand um, in the shape of a giant cup. It kind of reminds me of Roller Coaster Tycoon, and I don't know why. Nothing too much to say about that. It is what it is. Um, this is the Adidas store. You may know it as Adidas, and your controller batteries are low. Uh oh, reloaded. Next up, we have the Adidas store, otherwise known as Adidas. That doesn't sound right. So we're going to head inside and oh, we've got these cool little window displays as well that I really like with like the branding in the back as well. And uh, just around the store, we have a just a bunch of clothing and some more branding and just stuff on, on the racks and just um, the display mannequins and just shoes and just, just a bunch of stuff. Like it's just a nice, open, clean, store really really cool the night store is also very very similar to this as well i love the design and oh speaking of which it's coming up um this is the apple store so apple stores being the more interesting designs that they are it's just a nice big open eerie store with we've got some macs we've got uh some like accessories we've got kind of like a little help desk slash um purchase area here tv just phones like this was before i came up with the design for the phones and um when before i came up with the idea of like using beds as phone cases and stuff so i could actually update this once again if i wanted to it might not be a bad idea but we'll see it uh i, I feel as though that i made this not too long ago so I'd, i don't know uh, next up, we have the Nike store. So, very much like the Adidas store, I mean, we've got the, the branding behind the mannequins in the front. I really do like that. I might like this a little bit better. There's something about the ticket. Just, I don't know where it is. 
But um, it's laid out in a slightly different way though, which I do appreciate. We've got all of the shoes and we've got uh, just the stuff on the racks and we've got the mannequins and the pay area over there. And um, I think that this was also like, yep, just uh, some hats and what have you. Just really cool. Like I just, like the faces of these, like this and the Adidas as well. Like it just, I think it's very striking. And I love that I decided to do the tick in a different color as well, like for the backdrop. They're very, very cool. Um, this is a police station, so, ah, oh, I love my police station. So the police station is multifaceted, like, we've got uh, a riot van, we've got a police car, and we've got, like, a police helicopter, and we've got a little police bike over here, which I like as well, a little police bike. And this, this is where, like, all of the vehicles would be stored, and this is, like, a little garage section. But inside the actual police station as well, kind of, like, this is the, the lobby, and then we can get into the garage. But there's nothing really there, so this is, like, the little lobby here. Um, over here, we have, like, a little jail section as well with a bunch of cells and kind of, like, a guard area. Um, upstairs, like, we've got a set of stairs here. Upstairs, we have uh, just like a little office section, and we've got like a, an interrogation room with like the two way glass. And you can see in there that I'm, I might as well just go in there. And in here, there's like a processing room where you'd have your picture taken and what have you. And um, yeah, just a really, really cool. And um, there's also the captain's office, I do believe. Yep, captain's office. Um, so that is that. And we also have. Oh, yeah, we have access to the roof too, which is where we have the police helicopter. Just a very cool building. Uh, I, I'm very happy with that. I'd, I might consider making another one, but um, only because I really like it. Like, not because I think that that's outdated, but because I like it. Now, this is my school. Now, the school is also kind of like a huge build. I mean, it's, it's a pretty massive school. It's more of an American-style school, I would say, but, I mean, I, I think that... Um, I think that it would look cool in any sort of city. Like, it's not it's not too reminiscent of... Uh, I mean, it, it's not too far from, like, a, a British school. I mean, it is just, like, a big terracotta building, after all. But we have kind of, like, a, a football pitch back here. We've got, like, a basketball court. We've got, like, a place to eat. We've got, like, side doors. And um, the side doors lead into long halls where we have lockers and water fountains. And we have different... Not here we don't... Not here we don't. There, some of these were... Okay, so perfect. So this is like a little cafeteria. This is where where you would eat. You can see that there's, um, uh, there's like tills and stuff over there and a bunch of food options. Um, somewhere around here. Well, okay, perfect. So this is like a little assembly hall. A big assembly hall. This is a big build, actually. And um, we've got a big assembly hall and we've got a bunch of classrooms as well. So like this is just like a good standard classroom, I think. Kind of like an English sort of classroom. Uh, this is more like a science classroom. Um, this is, I think that we've got like an IT. Yeah, we've got kind of got like an IT classroom and um, just a, just a bunch of other stuff. Like we've got cameras and um, upstairs. There's like again, there's more lockers and what have you. And it's a little bit repetitive, um, but oh, maybe not. This is like the teachers' lounge. Very very cool in here. Just a little chill out room. What's this over here? Oh, yeah, we've got a library as well. Um, so, uh, well, self-evident. Um, we've got a library. Um, nothing much here. That might be it for the individual rooms, but we do have, like, this is, like, where the head, uh, head teacher would be or principal. This is, like, the little secretary, and then this is the actual principal's office or again head head teacher head master there's a load of a load of different uh, different things that you uh, you could call it all but um oh we also have like the american i do i do like this i do like the american style school bus um definitely a big fan of that i think that that looks really cool um what else do we have oh okay yeah so we have here um this is like a security van this is, so this is like what money transfers would be uh, done in, like it's a secure vehicle, like bulletproof and what have you. And the reason for that is because we've got a little bank here. So the bank is pretty cool. This I do remember, like inside the bank, like we've got like um, a little waiting area. And this is where you would speak to the, I think that they're called tellers or cashiers. And we've got like a little ATM machine and we've got a bank vault. And back here, I mean, you know, this is where you would get one-on-one um, -on -one with the bankers or whoever. And then this is like a safety deposit area. Very, very cool. I, uh, I really like this still. Um, it's nice to see that I do like like a good, a decent amount of my older sort of builds as well. Um, this is Kmart. 
I don't know why I built Kmart over there. Well, it was obviously requested, but I, I find it weird that I've managed to make Kmart before, like, Tesco's. Um, <laughs> but Kmart, just a, a nice big parking space out the front. Like, we've got, like, a couple of vending machines. Um, we've got a couple of ATMs. Like, what's it look like on the inside? Oh, wow, we've even got, like, the, the airlock and what have you. Um, oh, we've got a pretty decent electronic section. We've got like a little clothes section. We've got like these bargain bins. We've got, oh wow. We have, we've got these aisles with bun loads of different, this is before I adopted like the bookcase system. Uh, so we've just got like a bunch of trapped chests next to each other. Um, tills, little um, seating area waiting for the tills to be, this is little um, freezer section. What about back here, staff only? Oh, so we've got like a little warehouse. Aha! Aha! Guys, that's... I knew it. I knew it. I knew that it'd be somewhere. Oh, I guess we can't get out from there. We've got to... Yeah, we've got to come out this way specifically. It's like an anti-theft sort of thing. It's not a bad design supermarket, actually. But where is it? Where is it? Let me out. Here we go. We have a truck. It's not even that impressive. Well, I mean, it's, it's quite a decent looking truck, actually. It's nice nondescript sort of like... I mean, that's that's what trucks look like, but it's not even like, <laughs> it's just a truck. I can't believe it's taken this long for us just to find the truck. Um, but yeah, that, I guess it I guess it was back here. Um, <laughs> I knew we'd find it eventually. And then we have, oh, so this is just another apartment building. You guys know me, I'm fascinated by apartment buildings. So this is literally just a modern variant and you can kind of like see the rooms as well. As a matter, it, it might not even be worth going in to be honest with you because from the outside you can see kind of like the lobby area um, with kind of like the little help desk over there with the... Uh, uh, with the mail and then inside the rooms like and then and then you'd climb up onto one of these floors and here is just like a living room slash kitchen slash dining area all one together and like a bedroom back here and then like a, a, sh a bathroom back there so um, they are quite well designed I will say that it's one of I, maybe one of my more favorite um, modern apartment buildings actually like I really like how that turned out now this is the design for a uh, just like a regular, t why weren't that close? A townhouse. So um, the inside isn't done, which I find weird because I remember designing the inside. So this is just a good old townhouse. Like this is multi-story. It can even be taller if you want it to. But it's also got like a little basement as well, which again, it's not decorated, but um, I don't even know where I'd find the completed version. Maybe in Stream City, I might've done it there. But um, yeah, it's just a nice little townhouse. So to kind of like juxtapose against the modern, we have kind of like the more so classic. And speaking of classic, I mean, does it get more classic? We have a blockbuster here. Oh, childhood. Hello. So we have a <laughs> we have a blockbuster here where we have all sorts of... Those of you that are younger might still know what blockbuster is only because it's like a little bit of a meme but basically you know it's just like a video slash dvd slash movie slash game rental place and it was just a magical place to come when the internet wasn't too much of a thing and you just browsed and oh you could just like try out games and movies and there was like just sweets and popcorn ah oh, just just a fun just a fun fun place for young me Ah, uh, nice little, nice little bit of nostalgia with the blockbuster. Definitely fun to throw into your cities if, uh, if you're old enough to remember and uh, and to enjoy. It's just, uh, just again, I guess it's like one of those little nostalgia builds, but very, very cool. It's, it's a shame what happened, but I guess, I guess it had to in the end. So this next one, I guess this kind of goes hand in hand with blockbuster. Is my cinema? Really love this build. I love the design. Still awesome, modern build. Um, the cinema, this is the lobby, uh, we have like a place to get all sorts of snacks, we can book our tickets, we have like a little ice cream area, uh, ice, um, we have uh, a bunch of posters and a little waiting area for people that are in the film. Now we don't only have one screen, which I guess is the downside to this, but I guess we don't really need more than one screen. We have like a nice big seating area and we have like the projector back here and the giant screen and we even have like... Uh, little fire doors as well. Very, very cool. Like, I, I just really like the design of it. Like, I find the design of this to just be perfectly balanced, modern, descriptive of what it is. Like, hopefully, even if cinema wasn't written there, like, hopefully it'd be obvious what that's supposed to be. I just really like the design. 
Um, Popeyes, this is again kind of like an American fast food chain. Um, I do believe it is mostly, if not, mm, I think it's mostly chicken. I think it's safe to say. I don't, I don't know um, what else there might be here. Other than the fact, apparently the biscuits are dry. Uh, I don't know about that, but that is, uh, <laughs> that's all I know for some reason. Like Popeye's chicken and the biscuits are apparently rather dry. So <laughs> we don't have it over here in the UK. I can only go by uh, what I've heard, but yeah, Popeye's chicken. Um, next we have, coming down the nostalgia train, we have Toys R Us. Ah, oh, I love the design of this building. I love the logo. The blue and the yellow and then the inside here just feels nice and just full of just like wonder. I just love this. Just like loads of little displays, loads of little bargains of toys and we've got like a ball pit and just like just loads of random stuff and like posters and we've got the tills and I don't know. I just really, really like it here. I, I think it's really cool. It's um, I, I could have probably have learned something um, from this and applied it to Smith's. Just very, very fun. I, I just really, really like Toys R Us. Next. Oh boy. Okay, so this is my multi-story car park. When one story is not enough, we must get multi of them. So my multi-story car park is exactly as it says on the tin. It's a car park and it's got multiple stories to it. So like downstairs here, obviously, like you've got the ticket machines and there is a set of stairs which take you to every single level. And um, we even have, uh, I think that these are for motorbikes, like little or motorbikes or perhaps that's even for uh, bicycles and um, basically I mean we just get, it, it keeps going and going until we eventually get to the next floor like um, it, it, we, ju we just keep climbing up and up and up and eventually like you would get to the top and you can get to the top of this thing I think it's like five or six stories in total and then this is the top of the multi-story and um, there's like a one-way system and everything like um, you you can keep like driving down and down and down and eventually when you get to this floor here like it takes you out of the back and um, again there's kind of like a little payment area as well and there's like a bollard and is the idea is very boring like the idea of having a multi-story car park however kind of important in the city and it is kind of like i kind of like the build it is sort of like well designed i think um might change the grey concrete on it in the middle to like maybe even just light grey would probably go a long way. But I actually really like the design of the build quite a bit. Um, this is just a car park. I think that I did a set of design tutorials for different cars. Um, so you can see cars, slightly bigger cars, sports cars, SUVs, and then motorcycles. So I think that I just did a tutorial featuring all of that stuff. Um, what is this? I'm a little bit curious as to what this could be. Oh, we it's like a fishmonger's. It's like a little fish market. That's kind of cool. So we have like these little fish stands outside and all sorts of <laughs> Nemo. <laughs> and uh, inside here, it's just it's like well, it's like a butcher's but for fish. Um, what more is there to say? Kind of cool. I sort of like it. What, hang on, wait a sec. Slimy fish, Dory, Ouch fish, Nemo. What are these signs? Cards, orangey. Whale. Okay, well, I, d I definitely had fun with the signs at one point in time. Um, there we go. Uh, next, we have Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I've been meaning to remake this, although it's it's not about design, really. J it just needs a little bit of updating, actually. I mean, I, I might change the... Um, although, it's so boring when you just see white everywhere, though. I was going to say I'll change the butch to white, and it'd probably sort it out, but... Um, it's kind of boring when you see the same materials over and over again, but yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. Um, we do have a few of these in the UK, I do believe, I want to say, or if not, we are going to, or that might be Tim Hortons that I'm thinking of, but um, yeah, it's it's a donut, donut slash coffee place, I do believe, I mean, uh, what, what more is there to say? Um, this is a baseball field, oh, here we go, so yeah, giant baseball field, I love this. Um, it's, well, I guess it's like a stadium, like a fit, well, not really a stadium, maybe a small one, but, like, this is where you would enter through here, you get your ticket, and then this is where they would play, we've got a giant screen over there, we've got the floodlights, we've got the stands, it's pretty cool, I, I really like it, I love the fact that I've not made, like, a football stadium or anything, but I have made a baseball one, um, I don't know why, just kind of cool. 
Now, we spoke of Denny's earlier. This, I do believe, is based on the one and only Denny's that we have here in the UK. There might actually be more than one, I'd might be being a bit facetious, but it's a nice design build. It's kind of got that like blend of modern and kind of like uh, modern and classic sort of together, like with the wood, but yet also with the terracotta and the concrete. And this is just the inside of Denny's, which I do believe is kind of like a chain breakfast place. So, might be wrong about that, but um, yeah. Pretty cool, regardless. I, I like it. I like the outside of the building a lot. I think that that design's really, really cool. Uh, Krispy Kreme. Now, we I've never seen really a dedicated Krispy Kreme store, per se, but there are a lot of places to get Krispy Kreme, and uh, I, I just decided to do like a little Krispy Kreme store. Um, to be honest with you, I can't say that I'm a massive fan of this, but... You know, it's. Uh, I think that I did a Krispy Kreme stand somewhere, which might be a bit, a uh, bit more up my alley. But yeah, Krispy Kreme store. If you wanted to make like a donut store, um, this is a park. So this is this is just a public park. And in the public park, I remember including a few different builds. So um, the public park itself, um, we have like the little play area, but then tacked on to that to make it a bit more interesting. Like we have a balloon stand. We have a candy floss slash cotton candy stand. We have a hot dog stand, and we also have an ice cream stand as well. So not only so it, it doesn't really stop with just like the park. Like we've got all of those builds included in it as well. Uh, what else do we? Oh, that's 7-Eleven. I can recognize that a mile away. So we've got 7-Eleven, which is kind of like an American convenience store. I believe it's open seven days a week. And 11 days a week as well. So, <laughs> hence why it's called 7-Eleven. So we've got a little moped in the front of it. And we've kind of got one of those, um, like, those little rides that, like, just rock back and forth that kids and me, if I wasn't too big for them, would enjoy. And, uh, like, just a little bike rack. And in here, it's kind of kind of Quickie Mart. Quickie Marty uh, is what I was trying to say. I should do the Quickie Mart. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just like a little convenience store. Pretty cool in here. Oh, we've even got the slushy machine in here too. That's kind of cool. We've got the slushy machine, got the moped. I clearly used this recently um, for some quick builds. Uh, next we have, so this is another modern hotel, but this one came before the one that's all the way over there. This, by the way, is still a good hotel. Like I, re I like the design of this a lot. It's got like a little outdoor pool and a bar that you can kind of like see down there. Um, it's got a couple of car parking spaces out front. Um, all of the rooms have these balconies that you can see on the side. And I've only done one of the rooms, I do believe. But oh, oh, that's right. The inside it should be done a little bit as well. So this is like the lobby. Um, this is kind of like a little bar slash restaurant area. I really like that. But we can come up onto one of the rooms should be done. So this is like... Yeah, perfect. So we've got kind of like a little living room sort of thing. Um, this, uh, this, you, we should be able. This should be a door here somewhere to like let us out onto um, this terrace here as well. Bedroom stuff that you might have in a bedroom. We've got like a little bathroom. Very cool. I, I still really like this. Like despite the fact that I've made what I, I like the other hotel better. But that, but then there is something to say for this design. Like the, I, li I like both designs. Um, then we have GameStop, very, very cool. Um, I think that that's classic. Like I, that's just like a nice classic looking store. I really like that. And inside here, like what you would expect to see in a game store, just like a bunch of games, bunch of game, um, game related, like, you know, toys and fun and magazines, which aren't a thing, or at least I don't think so. Do people still buy magazines? I don't, I don't even know. Um, can't remember the last time that I picked one up, but yeah, GameStop. I really like, it's, I'm just knock that door off. So I, I just really like it. It just, it's like just really clean, like the design of that. I just, I, I love it. Um, then we have an ice cream parlor, an ice cream truck. I can't believe that we've hit this part. This feels like forever ago. So just like an ice cream truck with just a, a place to get your ice cream, just like a bunch of ice cream on board. Um, we've got like a nice little um, outside window for the ice cream and like a nice little seating area so you can get your ice cream through this window or alternatively you can come and sit inside and get your ice cream as well. Very, very nice. Um, I remember loving the design of this when I made it and I, I still do like it actually. It's, and I it might change a couple of things. Maybe I could make a modern version, but um, next is Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. We've came back to Chick-fil-A. So this is like a more classic looking Chick-fil-A. Um, still got a drive through You have to go all the way around, but um, how's the inside look? 
Um, the inside is it's not bad. Um, I'd probably I'd make it a little bit more interesting nowadays, but um, it's not bad at all, actually. Um, I like the design of the building. Um, I like the fact that there's this partition, that's the word, partition, um, between the two sides, but I do like that. I think that that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, we have a little modern bakery, or well, sort of sort of modern-ish, a little bakery slash little cafe, I think, uh, attached to it as well. This is another build that I wouldn't mind doing another one of as well. Um, yeah, I, I guess just a, a, just a little bakery. A um, little bit of a seating area, drinks, food. Pretty cool. I, I like it. It's kind of it. It is again. It's that kind of like bridge between modern and sort of like classic. Um, giant Domino's restaurant. Now I don't know if we actually have many or any sit-in Domino's in the UK, but I did. I remember checking at the time, and this is a thing. And it's well, I'm just sort of like Pizza Hut, but Domino's instead. So kind of cool. Just like a just a Domino's sit-in restaurant. Um, Wendy's. So this is a modern version of Wendy's. I should see if there's a classic version of Wendy's to make actually as well. This is one. I do think that it, this is one where we have like a couple of these in the UK. Uh, none of which are near me, but I'd be tempted to try it because I'd, I've heard I've heard a lot of Wendy's and I do. Yeah, I, li I like the design of this as well. Like it's it's just easy. It's just simple. A couple of tables. You've got the you've got the service section. You've got the drinks. Um, I like the design of it. Like it's it's just very very simple. Um, that should but I why why doesn't that touch the floor? That should that should touch the floor really. I think. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. That's a bit weird. Oh, we have my modern butchers. I love that. That is awesome. I, I really like the design of that. I love the like the orange and the black and the white, but then you've got like the mixed canopy. I really like that. That's pretty cool. It's and yeah, this is yeah, it's like a modern modern version of the butchers. It's got all the same sort of stuff: pork, chicken. Oh, I, I wondered if I'd, I made some uh, funny signs in here as well, but yeah, no, just a nice sort of modern. I I really like that. I find that to be quite striking. I think that that's really cool. Um, here we go. So this is uh, more classic. So this is a classic Taco Bell. I think that this this looks great. Like I just I love the classic look versions of buildings. They had they had so much character. Like I like modern, but just like all of the colors and the designs and the fact that you can tell them apart so distinctly. Like it's really colorful in here too. I don't know. It, it just feels nice and warm. Like I I always say that like usually with more of the classic ones. I just feel a bit warmer. Bit more fun. Um, oh, this is a music store. This is kind of like a stylized uh, music slash record store um, made using a note block. We've got a music disc popping out the top and a bit of like a modern design and just kind of like a little place to sit and chill out and just buy some records. And um, that's all there is to it. By the way, really like that design. I think that that is a nice looking design. I think that that's really cool. Speaking of nice looking designs that I think are really cool, classic McDonald's. Oh, possibly one of my favorite of all time. Classic McDonald's, you cannot go wrong. I just, nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. I've got to make one of these with like a um, a play area and stuff as well. I, I'm assuming, there's got to be some that still have like play areas because that's what I remember in my head, like the one that we used to go to all the time when I was a kid, like it had a play area and I used to just love it, like ball pits and slides and yeah, just the inside, just like nice, warm, orange, orange, red, yellow, oak, love it, love the design of modern McDonald's, I, I don't think it gets any more classic than just, than just that. Um, this is just a little cafe, so this is a, just a good old run-of-the-mill cafe. Have I done the inside of it? I think I have. So this is something that you would just find um, in a city somewhere, in a town. It's just a good old run-of-the-mill cafe. It's a two-story cafe, and I like it, but it, again, it's kind of suffering from, um, I think, just... I think it just needs a little bit of a facelift, but I still do like the design. It's even got a balcony on the side. Look, that's pretty cool. I, I do still like it. Uh, this is a sit-in pizza hut. I like this as well. I think this, again, kind of like a more... Maybe not a full classic design, but it's kind of like there. Like, it's kind of like an older sort of style build. Like, uh, you can tell the difference between the modern and this ver version. And, um, yeah, just kind of like a nice simple layout for the inside. Not too much to see, I don't think. Um, oh, Burger King. So this is like a modern version of Burger King. I would be very tempted to completely remake this because 
Whilst I don't think it's bad, I, I don't know. I, d I don't quite like it. Um, let's have a look on the inside. I mean, just the red and the yellow is offensive. Just just how it's stacked here, just it's so much. Like, the red, yellow, and the blue, it's just like... it. I, I don't know. I, I, I just don't like that together. It reminds me of, like, Harry Potter. Or yeah, it does, actually. It reminds me of Harry Potter. Or, like, just medieval knights for some reason. But, yeah, the, the inside's all right, though. I mean, other than the... The very flashy colours. Um, here we have uh, KFC. This is a modern version of KFC. Very old now. Um, this, in comparison to the KFC that I made over there, I think is like a night and day difference. But let's take a look at the inside anyway. Again, kind of just like a nice nice little simple interior. I th definitely think I've gotten better interiors. I think that I've improved them. And I think I've b improved some of the building style as well. Like... Uh, with the exception of some of them that we've been seeing recently, but I just I really do like my new modern KFC, um, Starbucks. Now this I do I do like this as well. Like this is like a classic version of Starbucks. I think that this looks pretty cool. Um, I'm into this. I like the design. It's simple. Let's have a look on the inside. Oh, I, I like the inside as well. That's right. Nice little separation here. That's where you make the coffee. Uh, just a bunch of tables stacked around. A little bit of a confectionery. Um, confectionery might be the wrong word. A. Eh? Um, condiment area where you can like grab the sugar and that for your coffee and what have you i very much like it very much i uh again I'd, I'd probably improve the inside a little bit but the outside i mean couldn't take too much improving i don't think i think that that looks really cool and finally i honestly i thought that we'd get here a lot later than this i thought this would take a lot longer we have subway so this is when i started to make city builds again i took a really long break I wonder when this was made. I'm sure that I'll include it in the video in some sort of way. But um, yeah, this is kind of just like nice little classic subway. Um, little seating area. Little odd area. It looks so basic. I love it. Um, yeah, and, and I guess I guess that that's where... I guess that's the end of it. That's crazy. I can't believe that... I've been recording for over two hours. Oh, never mind. It has been a while. <laughs> and that's it. So this world will remain unchanged from this point onwards. It has been an absolute blast building in this. It's been really fun and it's been a nice little nostalgia trip as we have went down memory lane. Thank you so much to all of you that have watched this video. If you reached this point in the video, thank you so much. You are in the minority. So for one last time in this particular world, I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye!